Right, so in the previous tutorial, we have seen how uh, we can construct these 2D plots by using PGF plots package. And uh, now let's see how we can construct a 3D plot. So, uh, first I will make a new section, uh, naming it as maybe 3D plots and build it out. Right, now we have this section. And uh, yeah, so first I will create a very simple 3D plot. So in order to construct a 3D plot, first you need to specify the text picture package and axis as usual. Uh, but uh, this add plot now it will be three because we are using a three-dimensional plot uh, to construct these 3D plots. Then uh, yeah, so you can. Uh, use whatever function you want over here and uh, the options can be given as well uh, and let's build it now yeah now you can see that uh, uh, our uh, tick picture environment render this plot for us and this axis automatically resolved uh, based on the 3d plot structure and the graph has been drawn as well and uh, instead of these sort of colors, you can maybe specify it as surf. So it will be more uh, 3D look like. Yeah, now you can see that uh, it has these sort of color variations. So uh, whatever person who's going to look this specific 3D plot, uh, he can uh, easily understand what's uh, actually happening, right? So it's more uh convenient to the read uh so you can tweak these values and you know uh experiment about uh, these 3d graph drawings uh but the most important thing is uh, you can directly specify whatever mathematical function you want over here so uh pgf plot package automatically draw that specific uh, 3d plot for you so you don't need to worry about how to construct these uh, sort of curves, how to, uh, you know, uh, color each and every segments, how to name this axis. You don't need to consider about this stuff. Uh, simply, uh, PGF plot package will uh, do those uh, uh, hard stuff for you. And uh, yeah, so that's how we can draw 3D uh, plots. Uh, so maybe let's let's see how we can draw somewhat more complex 3d plot as well so first i will copy this segment and uh, yeah maybe instead of uh, drawing this exponential curve i will use uh, maybe uh, somewhat more complex uh, function so this basically uh, give uh, sign related uh, graphs for us so yeah first let me write it down so we are using the square root of x to the power 2 plus y to the power 2 so basically this defined a specific radius of our uh, graph and it will be uh, vary from x value and y value as well right and we are giving uh, we are getting the degree value of that specific square root so sign will be applied then it will give a specific uh, a float value for us uh, based on the sign curve right and this entire thing we can maybe divide uh, by using again this square root right right uh, so now we will be able to get uh, somewhat uh, more complex diagram but it will take some time because internally uh, LaTeX needs to first build up these uh, 
diagram for us and it has to render it by using this text package as well that's why it takes somewhat long time right now we have that uh, the diagram or graph for 3d plot and uh, yeah maybe we can uh, add more uh, options to this diagram as well so maybe let's say uh, instead of surf I will use a mesh so I will be having some sort of grid layered overview instead of this uh, colored uh, field rows so I will use a mesh and uh, maybe let me increase the sample size for 15 and uh, maybe let me use the domain as uh, minus 8 to 8 okay uh, so the domain basically specify the values of uh, x uh, the values of the range of x and y and z right so domain will be minus 8 to 8 right right now let's try to build it again and we will be having somewhat more uh, convenient plot right did i miss something now Okay, we have the mesh, we have the sample size, we have the domain. Um, so, what did I miss? Yeah, I think it should be samples, right? Now, let's build it again. Again, it will take some time because this is a somewhat expensive task for LaTeX compiler. Mm -hmm. Okay, hopefully it should be it now. Right. See, now we have somewhat more complex diagram and it uh, now the texture has been changed to the mesh format and the sample size has been increased and you can see that uh, that domain is applied as well so this is the 8 and this is the minus 8 likewise uh, y axis domain also has been changed uh, but the z axis still vary from 0 to 1 so maybe if i specify a new domain uh, here so we can uh, tweak these values as well but uh, yeah, uh, since our uh, function is dependent from x-axis and the y-axis, uh, we only need to specify those domains, right? Because uh, either way, uh, y will be the uh, independent variable, so uh, PGF plots package will be automatically resolve uh, the maximum and the minimum uh, values uh, for our z-axis. Uh, but yeah, so maybe we can scale this up let's say 1 point i don't know maybe 1.3 something like that and uh, yeah maybe we can uh, label this plot as well so as in here i will copy this entire thing and paste it out and instead of y label now i will use y and in the similar fashion we can define uh, c label as well so it will be like c label and c and uh, instead of this uh, default uh, uh, color map we can uh, give different color map as well so let me give the color map as maybe um, green yellow so you can uh, check these uh, color maps in their official documentation so there are several enumerated uh, color values you can use uh, so likewise uh, you can uh, give uh, whatever options you required like this and uh, yeah let's try to build it again so basically the scale will be up and each and every axis will be named 
as well as the color map will be changed to this uh, green and yellow format so that should be the expected output uh, but yeah it will take some time to build okay right now you can see that uh, the scale has been increased the color map has been changed and here we have our labels as well right so x y z is there and uh, yeah so that's it and maybe we can add a legend as well so uh, let's add that legend entry and yeah now uh, it's not quite good to give this sort of value for our legend because legend is somewhat readable thing for the user uh, but this is somewhat uh, a more uh, functional thing that can be uh, render with the uh, pgf plot package right so we have to give uh, somewhat readable thing as the legend entry so there maybe we can give this as a fraction of sign value and the r value because uh, this is the r value of that specific uh, uh, diagram and again this is the r value right so r value means the radius uh, square root basically give the radius of that specific surface uh, sorry a square root gives the um, yeah the circle uh, related uh, attribute right uh, okay so yeah i think maybe we can specify this as a fraction so fraction of sign value so i will name it as sign r and the r value right so i will give it as r right so i think we should use the curly braces instead of this parenthesis so and we don't need to use that slash okay let's build it again so now the expected result is basically there should be a legend over here like uh, this and it should be uh, contain the fraction of sine r divided by r uh, and yeah hopefully now it should build yeah here we have uh, our uh, legend as well right but uh, that uh, legend has been overlapped with this axis map so maybe we can uh, only show these uh, left aligned axis in this graph so it will be more uh, uh, look nice for the read so you can change that thing over here so maybe i will specify it as axis lines left so i will get only the left related axis lines so this one this one and this one uh, left side related axis line Let's build it again. So the expected result should be I should remove these lines, right? And uh, yeah, let's see. Right, here we are. So now it only contain this left axis and now the legend is more uh, look nice right okay so that's how we can plot 3d uh, diagrams by using pgf plot in later and uh, yeah let's see you in the next video uh, thank you